Randy Quaid, a famous actor, has left a lasting impression on many people with his captivating performances. His talent and ability to play different roles have connected with audiences all around the world. Whether it's his portrayal of quirky characters or his skill in bringing depth to any part, his work has inspired many. He has definitely influenced the world of entertainment and touched the lives of many. We invite you to share your favorite memories or personal experiences related to this iconic actor in the comments below. Stay tuned as we uncover interesting, surprising, and sad facts about his life and career. Keep watching this video for more insights into the fascinating journey of Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid, known for his distinct roles in various movies, left a significant impression on Hollywood during his time and beyond. He influenced the film industry through his compelling performances and memorable characters. His work continues to be celebrated by audiences and filmmakers alike. He brought authenticity and depth to his characters, whether comedic or dramatic, resonating with viewers and leaving a lasting impression. His ability to fully immerse himself in roles made each character come alive on screen. Beyond acting, he also made important contributions to filmmaking by collaborating with directors and fellow actors, pushing storytelling boundaries. His influence on Hollywood can be seen in the lasting impact he has left behind. His movies and shows are still appreciated today, solidifying his position as a noteworthy figure in the industry. In conclusion, Randy Quaid's influence on the film industry is undeniable. Through his memorable performances and work behind the scenes, he has made a lasting impact on Hollywood. Randy Quaid, the actor known for various film roles, has a family life that includes being the father of seven frozen embryos with his wife, Evie Quaid. From a previous marriage to Ella Jolly, he has a daughter named Amanda Quaid. In 2010, he and his wife applied for refugee status in British Columbia, Canada, claiming concerns about Hollywood starwhackers. Interestingly, Evie Quaid, who turned out to be half Canadian, played a pivotal role in their refugee claims. Eventually, they withdrew the claims due to her dual citizenship. One notable film in his career is Breakout, where he portrayed the character Hawkins. In this movie, audiences see him in an unconventional role as he appears in drag. Randy Quaid's life has seen both family and career dimensions, with remarkable moments both on and off the screen. Randy Quaid, famous for playing Russell Cass in Independence Day, was part of a notable movie with six actors who were nominated for Oscars. Some of these actors include Jeff Goldblum, Will Smith, Robert Loggia, Mary McDonnell, and Judd Hirsch. Before he became well-known in Hollywood, he went to the University of Houston for college. His journey to becoming famous started when he arrived in Hollywood 30 years ago, getting off a bus from Houston. He was given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on October 7, 2003, which is located near the Roosevelt Hotel. At a Screen Actors Guild Awards show, he talked about this spot as a reminder of his early days as an actor. Randy Quaid's career in Hollywood and his recognition, like getting a star on the Walk of Fame, show how he's made his mark in the film industry. In the film What's Up, Doc? He took on the role of Professor Hosquith. This movie featured four actors who would appear together again in the following year's release, Paper Moon. Among these actors were Ryan O'Neill, Madeline Kahn, John Hillerman, and himself. His portrayal in What's Up, Doc? showcased his ability to blend into diverse ensembles, contributing to memorable cinematic experiences. In another film, Midnight Express, he played Jimmy Booth, a character imprisoned for a seemingly minor offense stealing candles from a church. This role was not his first as a character facing incarceration for minor theft within a sacred place. Previously, he portrayed a man who stole $40 in the last detail. These roles highlighted his skill in portraying characters faced with the consequences of seemingly petty crimes set against the backdrop of larger societal and judicial themes. Beyond his professional achievements, he is also an uncle to Zoe Grace Quaid, Boone Quaid, and Jack Quaid, connecting him to the next generation of actors in his family. This familial tie adds a personal dimension to his public persona, linking him to the future of the film industry through his relations. Randy Quaid's career took an interesting turn when he starred in The Debtors in 1999, a film directed by his wife, Evie Quaid. Notably, in the movie Kingpin, he portrayed the character Ishmael. A memorable scene in the film features Ishmael dancing with another man's girlfriend while a band plays in the background. Interestingly, this same band appeared in There's Something About Mary. Beyond his acting career, he finds joy in painting during his free time. 
he's known to indulge in this artistic pursuit when he's not in front of the camera. Whether on screen or with a paintbrush in hand, Randy Quaid continues to leave his mark on the entertainment world. Randy Quaid's father, Buddy Quaid, connects him to Gene Autry, creating a unique link in Hollywood. There are rumors about a possible relation to Richard Harris, but there's no solid proof. In his first movie, he acted alongside Sam Bottoms in The Last Picture Show, playing Lester Marlowe. This marked the start of his acting journey. A big moment in his career was playing Russell Cass in Independence Day. He delivered a memorable line, I picked a hell of a day to quit drinking, which showed his comedic talent. This reminded viewers of Lloyd Bridges in Airplane. These early movies showed his talent and made him a notable actor. From his humble beginnings to Hollywood fame, his journey shows his family's entertainment background and his talent to entertain audiences. His roles in these movies show his talent and charm. This story captures the early part of his career, making people excited about his future work and movies. Randy Quaid, famous for his role in Kingpin, stood out at the slam dance opening night for his film Real Time by dyeing his hair red and donning a rented fake fur coat from Universal. This was the second film featuring him at Slam Dance. In Kingpin, he played the character Ishmael. The pinball machines seen in the movie include Wizard, Rogo, Nippet by Bali, and the getaway High Speed Roman II and F-14 Tomcat by Williams. Director Milos Foreman, impressed by Quaid's portrayal of Tom Parker in Elvis alongside Jonathan Rhys Mayers, cast him as the King of Spain in Goya's Ghosts. Foreman praised Quaid's acting skills, stating, You are a great actor. You must be my king, or I must repaint Goya. Quaid's varied roles and memorable performances continue to captivate audiences. He has left a lasting impression with his diverse characters in different films and shows. In the movie The Last Detail, he got the role of Meadows, beating John Travolta at the last moment. Notably, he is taller than his brother Dennis Quaid by five inches. During the casting for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in 1975, he was considered for the role of Billy Bibbit. Although he didn't get the part, his involvement in the casting process adds to his career. His success in landing roles and his height compared to his brother Dennis highlight his unique presence in the film industry. Despite not always being the first choice for certain roles, his involvement in movies is noteworthy. Randy Quaid, known for his acting in different movies, owns an Australian cattle dog named Doji. He played Lester Marlowe in The Last Picture Show, a movie with famous actors like Jeff Bridges and directed by Peter Bogdanovich. In Kingpin, he was Ishmael, acting alongside Bill Murray. He's good at playing different roles in different types of movies, which makes people in the entertainment industry respect him a lot.